Hi guys, Marika here with another card tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to bend sentiments to line up in your die cuts. But first, it's the colouring of, of the stamp I'm using today, which is called Junior Hatter Grape. And she's really, really adorable. Uh, when I saw her, I knew I just needed to use her. And due to the color scheme I'm using, I wanted a very soft, a very kind of timid color scheme uh, so that the redness of the grapes that I'm going to color uh, really pop on the image. So I've chosen the my go-to light skin color, which is uh, E50, E00, E21, E11 and E04. So it's, um, I really like it. And then I use the R30 and R32 on her cheeks and on her lips uh, to give her that really rosy and re really f fresh and, and popping face. Um, I also giving her some sort of platinum blonde. Uh, you can variate this hair color a lot just by adding more or less of a color. And in my case, I actually use a little bit more of the E43, which means that the hair color becomes a little darker than the platinum blonde that it can be. But I really like that color scheme. It's the E4, lighter E40s. And then to continue on into the image with some more of the E40s, I use the darker for the shoes and the um, shirt and I again I want to continue having this kind of very um, light very subdued color scheme so I've chosen to use the B90s for her jeans and the G24s with an added color of YG61 for the greens because that gives it a little bit of a grayish color and makes that part of her a little bit more subdued. Um, for the berries I'm using RV99 and R56. It was actually R56 who was the base color that I really wanted to use on the berries. So then I just looked what kind of color would be good to dark, do the dark shadows on my little berries. The 40s also are used for the little horns and then I'm going in on her hat which I start with the R56 and using that as the darkest color, the shadow color and then going on with RV34 and RV11 uh, for the mid and light colors just to make, make it have the same pinkish tones as the berries but still a little lighter pink hat. I kind of like how it turned out. She is an adorable, adorable uh, little stamp. Also go in and just uh, fix off the nose, the eyes and the little tooth. So here I have a little tip for you. Uh, when you, if you are doing some fussy cutting as I do, there are machines out there that can do this. I just like the organicness of when you fussy cut. And it's kind of soothing but when you do that uh, you want to first do a rough cut around your character because the more paper you have the more is the chance that you will do wrong cuts because the paper will kind of make your scissors stick so yeah just by bending and stuff but yeah here is the parts of my cards I'm using a Simon's stamp uh, square stitched um, and a stackables and and a little banner from one of the blueprints from MFT stamps also made a little card base which is I think half an, about half an inch bigger than the white squares this is the kind of bending a sentiment and my little tip for bending a sentiment is add a piece of acetate this is actually the back side of the stamp set that this stamp comes from uh, and you can bend it on top of it because it will stick to it uh, and then you just pick it up with your block and you stamp it. This particular stamp didn't bend a lot um, but that's mostly because it's very very little and uh, it didn't need to bend that much. 
Then I'm just using some foam tape uh, on the back side of the banner and on the back side of a junior hatter. Um, sorry for it being a little bit low on the screen. I wasn't aware. And to finish the front side off, I'm using a couple of purple little pearls, adhesive pearls that just fitted perfectly with the color scheme. Uh, I li really like that when you kind of find the things that fits together uh, to put together. And then I just uh, add that to the card base. And to make the the card a little bit more of a card, I'm adding this little white square in the middle too because it makes it a little bit easier to write on it. And for a finishing touch, I decided to add a small little heart from the same sentiment stamp, which is a MFT stamp and it will be linked in the description down below. But that is the card for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just comment down below. If you like this, please thumbs it up and share it with your friends. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!